And interestingly enough, out of my 20 antique tractors, this is the only John Deere that I have. I just uh, got this back after I uh, bought it three years ago and uh, had some difficulties getting it running and uh, friends of mine helped me out and finally got it there. So I had a ball driving this thing this morning and uh, hope to come back when the rain stops and play around with it some more. I do what I call slowing life down to five miles an hour and uh, that's where the antique tractors really uh, are therapeutic for me. And uh, I love driving around my small town in uh, Massachusetts here and uh, visiting people and uh, going to uh, antique shops and going to the local uh, restaurants and just drive up in my tractor and just enjoy it. And it's a, it's a good way to spend a Sunday morning. This one is uh, is 100% running. Uh, it, uh, you know, the, the hitch needs a little, hydraulics need a little work. Uh, we're gonna play around with those a little bit, but this is ready for me to uh, enjoy for a while before I take it all apart and uh, restore it. It'll be on the list of things to gun, but this, it's a long list. So it came from uh, Northern Massachusetts. A guy I know who's a scrapper brought it to me. Like he brings most of the tractors that he gets first. So I get him to look at them first before he scraps them. I saved this from the scrap pile. And I'm so glad I did because somebody had paid a lot of attention to this. There's a lot of stainless steel bolts on this with never sees on them. Uh, somebody really put some thought and care into this machine, which I and I saw that immediately and knew that this was worth saving. And uh, I'm glad I did. It's uh, definitely going to be fun.